morning class 5 uh, since we are doing editing tools of word processor chapter 4 so in microsoft word we were doing editing tools of word processor this uh, editing uh, actually it is a process of making a desired change in the document as per your requirement so in microsoft word whatever changes you make whether you edit text whether you delete text or whether you move uh, text from one place to another or whether you duplicate the text duplicate means if you make a copy of it okay and if you use find and replace option and if you add header and footer to the text these are all known as editing tools of word processor all these options are there in this tools okay so in your chapter last time we had discussed about header and footer okay header and footer as i told you when you add heading okay when you add a common heading to all the pages then you can use header and when you give a page number or sometimes when you give a footnote in all the pages which is common to all the pages then you can use footer okay so that is header and footer so i'll just show you how to add header and footer in your page all right so this so did you see this format penta here in a previous class in chapter 3 we had discussed about format penta so if this was the formatting tool we will be doing editing tool today so you will get header and footer from insert okay so go to insert menu here you see header and footer so i'll click on header option all right so i'll click on blank so as soon as you click on blank you will get this type text option so here i'll write Rockville Academy. All right, so this is my header. Then I'll close header and footer. Okay, so see this, uh, this one Rockville Academy. This is my heading. Okay, in Microsoft Word, this is my heading. And if you have created 10 pages, then you will get the same heading okay this will continuously display in all your pages all right so this is header and footer now our next topic is inserting column now why do we need column why do we insert column as i told you in my live class also we need column to organize uh, text okay uh, or we need column to display the text into or more than two different columns okay so column means like first i will select the text then i'll go to layout i'll select column and make it two so here when i have selected this column two you can see my text has been divided into two separate part one is left side and one is right side okay this is column one and column two so this type of format usually you see in newspaper okay or in a magazine so what happens when you divide this column into when you divide this text into two different columns this will look more distinct it is more readable it looks more attractive and it looks more organized all right this is what this is that is why we use column the next is the page break Page break means when you finished writing in one page, then of then definitely you'll go to the next page. You know, so if you sometimes if you want to leave <coughs> this page and if you want to go to the next page, then you have to insert page break. So page break is your page layout and break, and click on page break. Now, so see this one is page number one. So as soon as I clicked on page break, now 
I can go to next page that is page number two so see here in page number two also you can see rock bill academy as a header because I've already applied header now children if you want to give footer or if you want to give a page number in the footer section then you can apply footer also let us try go to foot footer and in the footer section you just write page one okay so this is your footer section so now this is page number one this is page number one okay so if you want to display page number in footer section this will automatically come as a page number okay this will be displayed as a page number so this is page number one and this is page number second page that because I have applied the page break using the editing tools of word processor so this is column break this one is column and this one is page break okay so this is there in page chapter number chapter four next one is the indent so indent means when you separate okay separate different paragraphs then you can use indent indentation or we call it a indent okay so that i will discuss first i'll discuss in my live class that is my zoom class then afterwards i will demonstrate you using this video okay so this much for today please go through your book go through the chapter four and if you have any doubt you can also try this column how to insert column and how to insert the page break okay so this much for today see you in my next class thank you